Shalom everyone, this is Tay Janice. I have a quick word today. I'm going to jump right into this message. The title of this message is, God says he will answer your prayers. God says he will answer your prayers. This message may not be for everyone, so you want to be sure that you take this message, take this word back to the Lord in prayer. But if this message is for you, the Holy Spirit is allowing you to know that I put those desires in your heart and you don't have to surrender to those desires. I've told you that I'm going to bless you with that marriage. I'm going to bless you with that relationship that I am going to bring the both of you together because what I join together, no man can tear apart, but the Lord is wanting to know what is it that you are willing to do until I bless you with what I have promised you until I bless you with the desires that I've already placed inside of your heart. I've placed a love in your heart for this person that you truly love, that you truly care for. And it's not coming together when you expected it to happen or how you expected it to happen. But God says, what will you do until I bring that very person before you and i don't know who this message is for today but the lord is about to answer your prayers you've been praying for that kingdom spouse you've been praying for that person and you to go ahead and join together in union to make this official and god is about to answer your prayers and i want to give you the scripture that the holy spirit has given to me to give to you y'all this message is going to bless somebody today because sometimes we get caught up and how we think it's supposed to go when we think it's supposed to happen or it didn't happen this way or that way so it must not you know must not be true anymore it must not must not be going to happen maybe i didn't hear god correctly no you heard god correctly he's about to answer your prayers amen let's get to this scripture so this scripture is going to be coming from psalms 37 and it says then you will take delight in the lord and he will answer your prayers you will take delight in the lord and he will answer your prayers he will give you what you desire the most he will give you what he promises because he placed it in your heart for you to be able to have that particular person have that particular love for that person to love you the way that christ loves the church god placed that there and for many of you the holy spirit has you guys praying for this person fasting for this person and you have to continue to doing doing that and just because it didn't happen the way you want it to happen or come together doesn't mean it's not going to happen sometime even if that person is with someone else currently who's to say that that person did not have to go through one more bad relationship before they actually get to you who's to say that god hasn't you know had to take you through a season of isolation before you can get to that person because there are some things that the lord wants to get your attention on see we're trying to get at the table but god is still in the valley with us waiting on you so that he can hold your hand and be your friend and and be kind to you and get those things out of you that needs to be removed you see what i'm saying the lord is doing this thing the way he wants it to be done he knows the beginning from the end he already saw you in that marriage he already saw you in that relationship he saw you at the altar he saw you with that family making plans so because he already knows the plans he has for you he wants to get you to a place to where you can prosper have a good hope in the future mm. this message is for someone today but you have to be sure that you silence the voice of every single goliath and be about your father's business come on somebody tell that old devil if you're gonna be rapping i'm gonna be singing and we'll be doing to do it but you're not going to back me into a corner because i'm going to get what god has for me because he's about to answer my prayers for that marriage he's about to answer my prayers for that relationship he's about to answer those desires of my heart because i am taking delight in the lord i will obey him i will wait on the lord i will diligently seek seek the lord because he is a rewarder to those who seek him hallelujah glory be to the lord this is what i will do and god is saying i will answer your prayers once you take delight in me i will do that very thing that i've placed in your heart but it's up to you mm, to take delight in me it's up to you to seek ye the kingdom of god first and his righteousness and everything will be added to you it's up to you to know that if i be for you who can be against you 
who am I talking to on today? You've been waiting on that relationship to come together. You've been waiting on that relationship to come back together. Who am I talking to? And the Lord is saying, I will answer your prayers. I will answer your prayers. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we thank you in advance for this message that you've given to us on today. Father God, we ask right now that you silence the voice of every go life that's speaking negative. In Jesus name, we do pray. Amen. Shalom in the Lord, meaning peace in the Lord. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Holy Spirit downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what the Lord gives to me to give to you. You guys, this is our year of instant prayers, and we are not stopping until we make hell nervous amen we may have came in one way but we are walking into the promises of the lord because he will give us the desires of our heart which means we don't have to surrender to what god has placed in our heart all we have to do is take delight and the lord will answer your prayers ain't nobody mad but the devil amen if this message is for you so into this ministry as the lord lays it on your heart to do so amen and when you so so expecting to reap a harvest so expecting god to do exactly what he says he's going to do in your life and if you just want to be a blessing to this ministry god bless you i thank god for you amen people have been asking how can they sow you can do so by cash app paypal super thanks amen or you can also do it by zeal but i don't accept checks at this time i do apologize amen do like the widow woman did when she sold into the prophet's hand god multiplied it for her and if you need a prayer request amen send it to me via email only hallelujah glory be to god again ain't nobody mad but the devil you don't have to surrender your love that you have in your heart for this person you don't have to surrender it just let go of the way you thought it was going to happen and how it was going to come together and let god do it because he's about to answer your prayers amen amen well i love you with the love of christ and you already know there's nothing you can do about it you know i'll see you in the next video shalom